Hello everyone and welcome back to Jurassic Park Builder and our little corner of Jurassic Park Island where our dinosaurs are doing quite well, including Tracy, who is now fully leveled up and is sitting like a little old lady. Look at her, look at her, isn't she so cute? She's just snoozing away. Good morning, Tracy. Oh, it feels so weird to know that we can't feed some of them anymore. It just feels like counterintuitive. Like, of course you want to feed your animals, but nope. Tracy, the Emperor, Pebbles, and our little Allosaurus here are all max level now, which is so surreal. I can't believe we already have so many max level critters. Oh, which reminds me, we're actually really close on maxing out these guys too. So we're tempted to try doing that just so that we can be like, yes, look at the five stars, five stars everywhere. And oh my gosh, we're getting so much more plant matter. So many more ferns, so many more branches, leaves, bushes, whatever the heck is coming in on these cargo boats that we can feed to our more herbivorous dinosaurs and it's so exciting because we've been able to actually get our stegosaurus leveled up a little bit and she's currently uh, still kind of in limbo needing to be evolved can we get her can we get her there she's so expensive almost 20,000 coins per round but I imagine like the chemicals we have to use to evolve her when she's gold level and a really powerful gold level are probably pretty intense I wonder if we'll be able to do it though. I really want to. I think that's going to be our goal today is to get our little Stegosaurus evolved to the next stage. Even if it means we have to go do battle in the wilds to collect the scraps of coins we need. Oh, so close, so close. Just one more, just one more. All right, Emperor, how do you do? And by the way, thank you, you guys. Some of you informed me that our wonderful Emperor here, whoops, Daisy, while he is really amazing and fantastic, is also the weakest out of all of the gold level dinosaurs, is what I was told. He's handsome and gorgeous, and I love his feathers, but I couldn't believe that he's the weakest. So we'll have to see what our Albertosaurus, Albert here, uh, turns into. I think I might call him like Professor Albert. He kind of reminds me of an archaeologist or something along those lines. And he actually is really close to getting to level up too. So, huh. Well, first we'll do our Stegosaurus and then we'll work on him. And we've been clearing away some of the areas. I had to start clearing away this rock even though I didn't want to because we only need... Oh, and by the way, this guy's on sale, but we don't have nearly enough bucks to get him just yet. We could save up for him, but I have a confession. <laughs> There's something else on sale that I want to get today. Look at it! It's the Mosasaur Aquarium and it's only 19 buckaroos and we have 19 bucks. Oh, it's more than half off, so I actually want to get the Mosasaur Aquarium, which is so silly, but I just love aquariums, and I think they're amazing. And I think it would be really fun to put a little aquarium down back here. We also have a new mission from Hammond, by the way. Thank you for telling me, guys. That is actually these blue flowers that Hammond wanted us to get our paws on, and not the blue flowers that cost bucks. So we tended to that, and now Hammond, which one is he? Here he is. He wants two Ferris wheels, so <laughs> he wants to celebrate our new network of friends with an exclusive event at the park, it being the two Ferris wheels that he wants to put up. And then we're also, let's see, need to activate the Crop Harbor one more time, because Kelly's dad is driving her nuts. Uh, and the Edmontosaurus is the, the amber that we are missing, I believe. So we are trying to find the Edmontosaurus amber. And, oh, the Pecoranus, our adorable little guy. Oops, I didn't mean to click on the egg that fast, but we did. Pachyrhinosaurus means thick-nosed reptile and refers to the animal's bony facial pad, also known as the boss. And it looks awesome. Look at this little one. <gasps> no, 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 I want to look close. All right, let's see if we can get closer to it. Ah, dang it. Come on. Ah, oh, well, I give up. It's so fussy about zooming in sometimes, but look at the tiny little one. Oh, that's so exciting! Okay, so let's see. We need to feed it four times. Easily done. Here you go, baby. Here's your first food. What do you think? Ordinarily, I wouldn't be the first person to feed the dinosaurs, but I can take- I would be the first person to feed the dinosaurs, but I can take a step back. You're a brave man. I wouldn't mind feeding some of the herbivores, but I'm not jumping in there to feed the velociraptors or like uh, the T-Rex. Nope. Oh, feed herbivore eight times. The employee of the year award should be allowed to design. The employee of the year should be allowed to design a new feeding schedule. Why? 
That's like more work. If you win employee of the year, I would want less work. I would want like a day off with a free pass to go on the Cretaceous coaster and in the aquarium and like do what I want. But he's he's sitting there acting like making a new feeding schedule for all these dinosaurs is of course what the employee of the year would want to do. He is a nutty man. Absolutely nutty. All right, let's gather these up real quick. Whew, there we go. All right, so where were we? Yes, collecting our coinage from all of our critters and our buildings. There we go. I wonder why on earth we collect money from the guard towers. That's never really quite made sense to me. Like, I feel like they should give, like, be taking money from us because they're a services. Now, the little, the little inns, the lodgings, make sense to me, but not everything else. All right, there we go. Good bit of coins tucked aside, little newbie. Welcomed into the family. Let's see. Are we close to feeding? Who did we have to feed? Activate crawl harbor. How close are we here? Feed the herbivores eight times. Okay. One, two. The dinosaurs seem to love the change in their diet. We've been feeding them the same ferns. I guess he means like in terms of like the timing of feeding them. He is a funny man, I swear. All right, now is he what? Feed carnivores ten times. Um, is there any carnivore who does not have a very big appetite? Oh my gosh, a Dilophosaurus! <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. That's all we got. Well, I forgot how little our Dilophosaurus ate. Oh my goodness. Here you go, buddy. Okay, still can't give you more. But that probably put us pretty far on that level, too. Yep, only need to feed him five more times. We'll do that in just a bit. I think it is time to see if we can evolve our Stegosaurus again. So let's come back over here. Petri dish look, Petri dish look. Aw, oh, man. You're an expensive one, Stacy. Or Nyssa, Nyssa. I knew, I was like, Stacy is not the Stegosaurus's name. Nyssa, Nyssa is st the Stegosaurus's name. Come on, yes! <laughs> The brain of the Stegosaurus was the size of a walnut, which is surprisingly small for an animal of its stature. Thank you! Oh, and look now, she's gonna be level 31! She's so close to leveling up, too! And, okay, it'll be 15 more hours from her, and I think it's gonna be 15 more hours from this little one right here. In fact, I wonder if this little one is actually the Edmontosaurus, now that I think of it. Let's zip all the way to the end of the line, see what's hiding around down here. Yeah! Actually, so we do have the Edmontosaurus. It just needs to hatch and then it'll count as having that creature in the park. So that's pretty cool. That makes me happy. All right, and let's see, we need another Ferris wheel and I think we're gonna do it. I know it's absolute decadence, but I've wanted this aquarium for ages and it's actually available. So we're gonna go ahead and buy this aquarium and then we're going to surround it with like all sorts of plants and flowers and fun things. And we'll put the ferris wheel on the other side of it, I think. Eh, or somewhere. Where should we put it? Maybe right here and ferris wheel right here. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. All right, but we're going to do it just cause, so I can say we have it. <laughs> Yay! Okay, that was a waste of bucks. I will fully admit that. But I'm very excited because I wanted that aquarium. It's just going to take forever to be built. All right, and next up, we need another Ferris wheel to go on the other side or to evolve up some of our little ones over here. Who's ready for evolving, huh? You're almost ready to be evolved, Albert. Let's see. Let's, yeah, Professor Albert, I think is what we'll call him. So he's almost ready to be evolved. And we do need a Ferris wheel. So how much is a Ferris wheel? Should be back here somewhere. Okay, Ferris wheel's very expensive. I don't think we're going to be snagging that uh, <laughs> easily. Oh, the Grand Hammond Hotel would be fun to have too, just so we had like a proper amusement park mixed in here. Well, speaking of expensive, I guess what we could do, can I position myself just so? I hope so. Let's go ahead and have a tropical storm show up. Go. And then we just kind of have to wait and keep an eye on everybody. I think I can reach everyone from here, too. Oh, the Velociraptor twins are doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good with this storm today. Come on, easy, easy does it. You guys all need a bath anyway. Easy does it. Okay. Oh, boy. 
Come on. It, it feels more dramatic than it really is because of the intense music and the pouring rain, but I think it'll be okay. We just have to kind of take things at a decent pace. Easy there, everybody. I know. I know, little Dilophosaurus. You guys don't like it. And not misclick. Misclicking. Misclicking is bad. Easy there. Maybe I should- there we go. <laughs> Scooch over just a little bit so I can see everyone okay. We're halfway through the storm, everyone! Hang in there! We're almost there, little guys! I know. This storm sucks. Alright, let's go ahead, go down the line. Down the line, down the line, down the line. There we go. Yeah, I think we've got this well in hand, I hope, I say. That's something you probably shouldn't say when you're like in the eye of the hurricane. You get halfway through and you're like, oh, we're gonna be fine. <laughs> and the other half of the storm is still coming. So don't don't get too over eager. Oh dear. Okay. Gracious me. It's a little hard to keep track of where everybody is, especially if you misclick. I think we'll be okay. Yes, we're gonna be fine. And we're going to have a new record! Awesome! All right, let's just go ahead and start collecting what we can from everyone. There. 104 coins is a little bonus. Yes, and look at that. Almost 50,000 coins. Awesome. That definitely helped. Definitely contributed to the, uh, the future Ferris wheel that we will build. But let's see, what else do we have going on right now? Oh, I guess we do need to activate the crop harbor. Jeez, money! Money is needed left and right. So let's see what we have going on in the aquatic park. Uh, not much. I'm really disappointed we didn't get the colossal squid. So like my interest in the aquatic area, like fanged fish, eh, that's cool, but it's not colossal squid. My interest for this area has gone down a little bit again, but I haven't forgotten about you guys. Don't worry. We will be working in here eventually. Let's see, Jurassic again. I wonder if Pebbles... Pebbles rakes up those coins so fast. Let's pop over and visit Pebbles. I don't think we're going to be able to afford the new Ferris wheel. Uh, and meanwhile, Nissa is still evolving, so I'm down one of my most powerful gold level animals. But Pebbles might be able to clear... Oh no, we don't have enough. <laughs> we don't have enough things for that for sure. Pebbles, can you clear like a different area though? Let's see. Let's throw Pebbles into battle. Oh yeah, she could clear this area just fine. What about over here? Probably could do it. Over here? No, then we hit a Tyrannosaurus and then it's just a pain in the rump. Alright, let's see if Pebbles can earn us some Mega Coins, Mega Fangage, and hopefully some food to feed our dinos. Oh, hello! We're about to have one of you hatch in our park, little Edmontosaurus. I can't remember what's most effective against you. I think it's Swipe. Swipe seems to do a great deal of damage. Pebbles, hang in there, darling. I think you're gonna take a little bit of a, a bit of a headbutt there. But you've got so much HP. We feed you well, my hefty girl, so that you can you can kind of be the tank. Pebbles kind of embodies the tank. In fact, I think if Pebbles met a tank, oh dear, hang in there, sweetie. You're about to get bit. Rude, rude. Oh, I love these guys. I would collect so many of them if I could. And it's so interesting to think some of you have said from um, the studies they've done, Oh, you little brat! <laughs> Doing a block? That was that was uncalled for. Alright, hang in there, Pebbles. We'll get him. We don't need to spend our fangs on him. I think we can get through this. Oh, I forgot. That's not very effective. Okay, well, let's go ahead and we'll block once. Probably worth it. Just once. I'm sure we can get back those. Alright, now behave, little emperor dude. Yeah, he doesn't have a lot of HP, so we should be okay. Oh, but he is so cool. I have to admit, like, I love the the scant research about them that has been collected, and you guys have introduced me to so many things about them, but the idea that they may have traveled in family groups is just so fascinating to me. I think I grew up way too long with this idea of uh, dinosaurs as being like super like cruel to each other and just out to do nothing but eat anything they could get their fangs on and that's not true because it's not true even with crocodiles crocodiles are amazingly sensitive mates 
and very in tune with one another. There you go. Okay, Pebbles, that wasn't the best because I pushed you too hard. I'm sorry. Let's see. Uh, let's pop over here. Let's see. Who should we send the Emperor off against? That would be kind of an easy... It would probably be easy. Let's see what an Iguanodon has. So yeah, it looks like we're going to have to sit and wait to get enough coins and enough things to go into battle. Oh, look at that. Doesn't it look like an alien? Like a galactic alien that has just descended from the stars? Is that good against... No. Okay, so Swipe is not good against the Guanadon. I'm trying to remember what is. Let's try Charge. Charge is good against the Guanadon. Noted. It totally... Oh, 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 here we go. To me, it just totally looks like a galactic coloring. If I could get those colors on my spore creatures, that would be amazing. All right, let's do another charge. Oh, rude! <laughs> of course, I guess it makes sense to let them fight for their, like, well-being. All right, come on. Come on, Emperor. Let's give her another headbutt. This is our territory. They try to sneak back in because they think we won't redefend it, but we totally will. I wonder how our quarry is doing. I don't think we've really checked on our quarry in a while. No, no, I don't think we have. So we'll peek at that. Oh, and the little caramel! What's up? What's up, little cutie? You need to clear out of this area too, please. And they're just like barely clinging to life. Poor things. All right, yeah, this is our zone. Pardon us, but this is our zone. Thank you. Alright, and once we clear this out, I guess it's just the waiting game of waiting for coins to start adding up and coming back to us. Waiting for fangs to start building up. Good job, Emperor. Yep, I think it's just going to have to be the waiting game now. Huh. Let's see, who else could we take on? Alright, everybody else is pretty busy. Oh, look, Albertosaurus is already way up there. Well, we'll go ahead and let's see, what's this something... You could probably take these guys on, Albert. So let's see what Professor Albert has up his sleeves. Oh my gosh! He looks so big and the, the little Tronodon looks so so small. Alright, we'll give him a good tail swap. And he, he's not even, like, evolved yet. This guy's, like, what, at level 9? Not even to level 10 yet! And look at him, with his tiny little arms. His teeny little arms with those huge, huge teeth. There you go. I will admit the Allosaurus looks tougher to me, though. A little bit meaner around the edges. Alright, let's see. Would Bite work against you? No! Not remotely. Okay, well I don't want Albert to, like, KO, so let's go ahead and we'll let him- I'm trying to save the fangs, but I can't help it. What is his attack like? Okay, that- that style. Noted. Jeez, you're like a brick wall! Oh, uh-oh. Ankylosaurus. We haven't gotten Annie out in a long time either. It's just amazing because the difference between bronze and gold levels is so extreme. You just can't justify, like, using bronze after you hit a certain point. Hello. I'm sorry, little Ankylosaurus. This is our territory. Please clear out and give us some coins and, and food as you scatter away. There we go. Good job, Professor Albert. It's decent enough. Not your fault, though. I keep biting off more than we can chew. The key is when you fight the low-level fights, even though they can be kind of tedious, at least you're able to get the highest number of food and coin and everything back. And you, my little friend, you just hang on. If I can somehow manage to pull off getting 70 bucks, we will definitely get you. Because I feel guilty for spending those bucks on that aquarium, but I really wanted the aquarium, you guys. I really, really, really wanted it. Okay. Plus, we have three days, so it's going to be a frantic three days to try to earn and scavenge enough bucks. Oh, and here we go. Boom. And now Albert's going to be ready to evolve. I'm going to hold off on evolving him until after we get the other Ferris wheel, though, just so we can keep the quest moving. And because we already have two eggs out. All right, and let's harvest all this up. There we go. So I think that's going to have to be it just for now. We're working on gathering up all of our wonderful coins so that we can add another Ferris wheel and expand the ever-growing amusement park. 
And we're keeping an eye on evolving up Albert and everybody else. Oh, and something else was on sale, I think. Let me double check. Pretty sure I saw something else on sale. Those sales, they're going to get me. I'm horrible when it comes to sales. I just get so excited. I'm like, oh, I have to get it. I'm so bad about that. <gasps> That's what we unlocked! Now I remember we unlocked the active volcano because we hit level 30! So now for 3 million coins, we can get an active, active volcano! Man, so basically active volcanoes are your way to show off that you are rich as heck. So we might definitely have to do that bonus 25%. How much more than that is that from the sleeping? Oh my gosh. And how much more than the meteor? Less than the meteor crater, but far more than the sleeping volcano. So I guess we're going to be collecting active volcanoes in the distant future <laughs> to show off how many coins we can have. I think I've only gotten to a million coins once. So it's just going to be a matter of uh, collecting, 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 evolving, 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 and very dutiful placement of lots of flowers. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.